In today's video, we'll talk about how to customize Windows 11 to look like Mac OS. Myself, Muhammad Zubair, and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro really fast. So without any further ado, let's get started. So before we do anything, we need some files to be downloaded from web. I have given all the links in the description of this video. You can follow those links. So first of all, we need to get to the DeviantArt website and we have to create an account here. Do not worry, account creation is free. We need account because only then we'll be able to download all those themes, icon and different other things that we need to convert our Windows 11 into Mac OS. So first of all, we need to download 7TSP GUI. Just click on this download button and this one will be downloaded very easily. The second thing that you need is Theme Big Sur. This one have a theme that will make your Windows 11 look like Mac OS. Just click on this download button and the process is really simple just like any other download file. After that, the thing that we need is Mac OS for Rocket Dock. Again, just click on this download button and this file will get downloaded directly into your system. After that, we need one more thing and that is Mac OS cursor. Then we need rain meter. Again, you just need to click on this download button and you are good to go. After that, go to the other link which is for Punk Labs and scroll down from here and you will find a rocket dock here. Again, you need to download it. After that, go to your GitHub. And here we have a skin and the name of that skin is drop top basic version. Just click on it. And here we have a file with the size of 27.1 MB. Just click on this download button and this one will also get downloaded into your system. After that, we are left with one file only. Just click here and download this wallpaper because this is the official wallpaper of Mac OS. And after that, you are good to go. Now we are done with everything that we needed to download. And now let's start the process of converting our Windows 11 into Mac OS. So these are all the files that I have already downloaded. So first of all, we need to unzip this Big Sur folder. Just right click on it, go to your show more option and click on extract to this folder. The next thing that we need to extract is 7 TSP folder. Again, right click on it and the process is again same. Now go to your Bixer folder. Again, open your Bixer Windows 10 suit and this time go to your first folder. Make sure you have these two folder or these two zip file with the name of 7TSP Bixer 2 dark mode and 7TSP Bixer 2 light mode. After that, come to your parent folder and this time go to your 7TSP GUI folder. And here we have a file with the extension of EE. Right click on it because we need to rename this file. To do so, you can press F2 or you can click on this icon or you can go to show more option and then you can click on rename. After that, instead of double E, just write here EXE and hit enter. Click on yes. And we have successfully converted this file into an executable file. As you can see, we have the icon as well now. Now we are ready to go and we are ready to apply changes. But before that, make sure you have a system restore point in your Windows 11. Because in case if you want to revert all those changes, you must have a restore point. To do so, just search for restore. And here it says create a restore point. Just click on it. And from here, click on create. Name it anything. I will name it as before customization. And after that, just click on create. It will take one to two minutes to create this restore point. And after that, when you will restore your system, your system will not have any of those changes that you are going to perform. So we are done and we have successfully created our restore point and now we are good to go. So now we need to run this executable file. So I will just double click on it. And here it says add a custom pack. Click on this button and go to the directory where you have all your files that you have downloaded. 
I have here. So I will just go to my Bixer folder where I had two files that I told you about. Here I have dark mode and light mode. This time we need to go with the light mode. Just double click on it, click on yes. And now we have the option to start patching. If you just click on it, it will start the process. And this process will take five to 10 minutes. You have to wait for it and then we will move ahead. So I will just click on this button, click on yes. And our process has been started successfully. After this process is completed, it will ask you to reboot your system. So just click on yes and only then the changes will get placed into your Windows 11. After you are done rebooting your system, you will see this message that says the system has been patched. Click on OK. And if you notice, we have all those icons that we have in Mac OS in our Windows 11 now. We have the recycle bin icon, we have our file folder or you can say file explorer folder and we have the icon of Mac OS. So we are done with changing the icons. Now this time we need to change our dock. To do so, we will go to our folder again. Now before running this file, which is rocket dock, right click on your taskbar, go to your taskbar settings, scroll down, go to your taskbar behavior and click on automatically hide the taskbar. And now we'll go back to our folder. Just double click on rocket dock and install this one just like any other software. Click on next, accept the agreement, click on next, next, click on yes, again click on next, click on install and we are good to go. After we are done installing this one, open your zip file which is for rocket dock and this is the one I'm talking about. Right click on this one and again we will extract this one. So we have successfully extracted this one. Just double click on this folder and copy the first folder. I will just copy it and now go to your C drive and go to your program files x86 and here you will have rocket dog folder. Here it is. Just double click on it and after that go to your icons folder. Here you just need to paste the folder that you have just copied. It will ask for the confirmation, click on continue and it will take only few seconds to paste the folder for icons. So here we have successfully pasted our folder here. Again, go back to your folder where you have all those zip files and extracted folder. And again, go to same folder from where you copied this one. And this time copy monetary light folder. I will copy it. I'll go back to my C drive. I will open my program files x86. I will look for rocket dog, which is right here. And this time we need to go to the skins folder and I will just paste the folder that I had just copied. So it will again ask for the confirmation. So just click on continue and we have successfully copied this one as well. So we are done with all the copy and pasting. Now this time we need to run our rocket dog that we have just installed into our system. Here it is. I will just run this one and here we have the dog that we get in Mac OS. I will just right click on it and this time I will click on dock settings. It will open a window like this here. So select all these options that I'm going to select. First one is run at startup. Then we have minimize windows to the dock. And the third one is running application indicator. Then go to your icons and you can increase and decrease the size for your icons. As you can see, as I'm increasing the size here, here we have the same effect. So I'll go with 36 then for positioning I will go to my bottom and here you can see I have all those icons at the bottom of my screen. Then you can change the centralization of your dock. You can move it towards the left or you can move it towards the right. I will keep it in center as we had by default. Then you have your edge offset. You can make it more upper or you can make it right to the bottom. Then you have your style. You can increase the opacity for your dock. I'll stick with about 80%. Then we have our behavior and then we have about section. I will just click on OK and I will get out of this window. So these are some of the icons that we get by default. In case if you want to remove all of these, just click on any one of these and drag it out of it. I will do the same with my documents. I'll do the same with my music and I will keep on doing with all those things that I do not want in my dog. So after that, if you remember, we had a theme called as Motira Light. So I will just right click here. I will again go to my dog setting and in style here we have theme section. 
just click on this drop down arrow and here we have Montera light just click on it and here we have successfully changed our theme in case if you want to change its opacity you can do so here we have the transparent dog and here we have some of the background i will go again with somehow around 80 percent click on ok and you are good to go now in case if you want to add some of the icons of some of the application you can do so so just press your windows key and just search for any application for example i'll search for edge right click on it and click on open file location and here we will have the icon for our microsoft edge just drag it and drop it into your dock and here we have microsoft edit successfully then you have your google chrome i will add this one here as well if you scroll down you will have all the icons of different applications that have been installed into your windows 11 i'll do the same for my word as well so this is how you can add different applications into your dock for mac os as we know that for browser in safari we get different icon to change the icon here i will right click on microsoft edge and i'll go to my icon settings this time here i have icons i will click on this plus button and click on mac os it will take a little bit of time to load everything so it has successfully loaded everything i will scroll down and i will look for safari icon so here we have safari icons i will just click on it and i will click on ok and here you can see we have successfully changed the microsoft edge icon into safari one so that was all about that how you can have the dog just like the mac os and this time i will show you that how you can have the cursor just like the one that you have in your mac os to do so again we'll go back to our folder where we have all those extracted files here we have our folder with the name of mac os cursor right click on it and again i will extract this one here after that i will open that folder and here we have mac os cursor for windows and here we have all those cursor first file is dot install right click on it go to show more option and install this file after you are done running this file for installation look for cursor here we have the option that says change the mouse pointer display or speed from here go to your pointers and here we have the default cursor for our windows 11 click on this drop down arrow and click on mac os click on apply click on yes and click on ok and now we have successfully changed our cursor as well and now let's move ahead and let's see what do we have next now i will install the rain meter into my windows 11 just click on ok and install it just like anything go with the standard installation process then click on install click on yes and just click on finish after we are done installing the rain meter we need to install one more thing and that is drop top basic version if you remember we downloaded a file from our github and this is that file basically it's a skin just double click on it and we will install it just click on install here it will take one or two minutes to complete the process of installation click on continue now these are some of the options that this skins offer in terms of having mac os interface so for language go with english us or any language as per your liking click on continue after that choose the skin as per your liking i'll go with the first one then here you have to select your preferred media player i'll go with the spotify we also have itunes youtube twitch soundcloud and many more you can also go with apple music but i'll go with spotify then you can have your gmail username and password and down here you can have the location for the weather updates click on continue after that click on the icon that you want to keep as a home button i'll click on apple icon and after that here you have to choose the size you can go with the small medium or large preferred one is the medium so i'll click on medium and then i'll click on continue and here we have to choose the color option well i will tell you the difference between these two in a little bit of time at the moment i'll go with the default and then we are done with everything here it is giving some of the information about some donation you can skip this and you can just click on maybe later so we are all set i will just click on finish setup and we are good to go 
so here you can see that we have successfully installed the skin and we have all the interface of mac operating system here you have the tour of how to use this one you can skip this tutorial or you can just keep on clicking on next step i will just skip this one and i'll go back to my desktop and here you can see we have the mac os interface we are left with one thing only and that is we need to have the background of mac operating system so if you remember we downloaded a background and that is this one i will just double click on it this is how it looks like click on this option menu then click on set as and click on set as background now i will just get out of this i'll get back to my desktop and this is how it looks like well if you remember when we were choosing the color option we had two options first one was default and the second one was color match we went with default one and this is the default color of our dog now what you can do you can match it with your background to do so just click on this apple icon go to your drop top setting then go to your themes and here you have color match option just click on apply this theme and it will change its color and it will try to match with your background again go to your apple icon go to your drop top setting and other than themes you have your color and opacity options my folder apps and many other thing that you can have onto your interface in terms of mac operating system at the bottom you can have some of the widgets in terms of the rain meter so that is how you can get all those thing in terms of the user interface and background of mac os in windows 11 now at the end i'll show you that how you can get back to the original setting of windows 11 because in case if you want to remove all these settings that you have just applied that's really easy because if you remember at the start of the video we created the restore point so now we will use that restore point to get back to the original windows 11 so i will just search for restore here we have the create restore point i will just click on it this time i will click on system restore after that choose a different restore point and then click on next and if you remember we named it as before customization after that click on next and here you just need to click on finish and you will get back to the original windows 11 interface and all these menus and settings and everything that you have done in terms of the mac os will be removed from your windows 11 and that brings us to the end of today's video and i hope that you must have loved this one so please leave a like subscribe and press the bell icon we'll get back to you in the next video till then take care